Yeesh, he's a scorcher. Oh man, it's already the 20th? Summer break's almost over. Not that I got anything to do. You think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so boring? Hmm? What's she doing? Drawing? She's some kind of caricature artist? Nah, no way. There's no one around for her to draw. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing interesting here. Out of the way. You're blocking my view. Move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? No! Uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Eh. Oh well. Justin. doing so well lately, you know? And it's all because of your blasphemy. I begged so hard for your soul that I think I actually lost weight. Look at me! I'm paper thin now! Damn straight! I could down a ham katsu in my sleep if I really wanted to! I get what you're trying to say. You're embarrassed to be seen with me, right? I'm not like my little brother. I'm not smart or athletic, and I have weird stubby legs. And 
my pants are covered with food stains. I'm just a thorn in everyone's side. They all wish I could be more like my little brother. All they do is make fun of me. I just want this whole world to disappear. But the world can't end yet. Not until I save you first. Look, I can try harder. I just need to make it to paradise. That should solve all my problems. I'll be taller and more slender, and my body will glow. So I'll be safer at night. See? Then I won't be inferior to my brother. And you won't hate being seen with me. So please, don't abandon me. to go, so I don't have time to eat today. I haven't earned forgiveness just yet. And I have to find a new member to recruit soon. That was him just now. So can you handle it? Yeah, all I gotta do is rough him up and I get paid. You know, I've got this buddy who's kind of strapped for cash too, if you catch my drift. Fine, you both get paid. Just make sure you finish the job. Huh? Oh, it's you. 132,000 yen, right? That's the same trick you used on my son. If you know what's good for you, I'd stay the hell away from him. Negotiating with Koromaru-san. Koromaru-san is prohibited from going out for a walk on his own. There were arrangements for Sonata-san to accompany Koromaru-san on his walk today. However, the scheduled time has passed, and Sonata-san has yet to return. Koromaru-san's patience has reached its limit. Koromaru-san is requesting that you accompany him instead. Are you available to assist at the moment? You are what they call a lifesaver. human persona user. Now that is certainly unique. However, my fascination lies more with you. Good evening. There's no need for hostility. Now is hardly the time. Let's have a little chat. Come along. What exactly are you waiting for? Now then, I have a question for you. However, just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement, now would it? I will answer one question of your own first. So, what do you want to know? My coat is invisible to fools. <laughs> but of course I'm joking. What a surprise that you would rather ask about me instead of our group. Perhaps this is a sign that we may reach a mutual understanding. In the beginning, 
We had no quarrel with you. Had you not decided to eliminate the Dark Hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Yet, you insist on ending the Dark Hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Now, answer me this. Why? Are you trying to protect the world from the shadows? And just where did you come up with that idea? In this country, almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year. And yet, there is no outcry against the existence of cars. Why do you suppose that is? It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. So then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? Do you know what a savior complex is? You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. Giving up your own life to save others is simply a waste. Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. Do you continue to deny it because you can't accept the truth? There is no need to rush your decision. You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power. And yours, yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? That was all I had to say. Tonight is a new moon. You have ample time to reconsider before the moon waxes full again. With that, my debt to you is paid. Perhaps it might help you make up your mind. Well then, I shall be going. I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet.